in today's video, I want to talk about how to change your airdrop name on iPad. This pretty much means that every time you would like to share a file to someone else using an Apple device, they're going to see a name that you set specifically according to yourself, but also that your device is going to be visible to other people under the name that you specify. It also depends if the other person has saved your device as a contact on a on their iPhone or iPad, because if yes, then they're gonna see your name uh, and the name that you saved for uh, for you in their contacts. So there won't be anything that you can do about it. But for other cases, uh, the, the name that you can see as your airdrop name is the name of the entire iPad. And if we want to change the name of the airdrop, then we have to change the name of the actual iPad itself. So this can be set and changed very easily. So in the settings of the iPad, you have to go to the general and to the about section. And uh, there is the name. So uh, if you tap on the name, you can actually change the name of the iPad very easily. No specific process there. And uh, the thing, the phrase, the name that you specify here will be visible as your airdrop name whenever you are sharing files or doing whatever else. On our iPadOS and iOS devices, it's a lot simpler than, for example, on a Mac. Like here, you can literally go to the settings and change the name with just a couple of tabs. Whereas on the Mac, you would have to actually go to the system preferences and go to the sharing option and then type the name that you would like to your Mac to be displayed as and uh, this name is going to work as your airdrop name. So this was a very quick video, I literally don't have anything else to say about it because it's literally that easy, but I also wanted to say that if you are new on this channel, then think about actually subscribing because it does help you in the future, it does help the channel, it uh, makes sure that you stay informed and whenever there is a new short or longer video then it's going to show up in your subscription box but also on your YouTube page perhaps. If uh, YouTube decides to show it to you that means that it may be potentially interesting for you. Anyways guys, I'm not going to drag out the video any longer, hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it helpful, uh, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up or do whatever you want and we can see each other in uh, the future videos.